So good morning, students. We have already started the explanation of the chapter that is uh, Land of the Midnight Sun, uh, and our chapter number is eight. We have already discussed the many topics in there. That is features of Greenland. Then terrain we have discussed. That is the type of the land which we which we mentioned in the Greenland. Climate we have discussed. Clothes, festivals, language, religion. Uh, then culture we have discussed. Plant uh, life we have discussed. Now presently we are with the animal life. So this is the last topic: animal life, economy in industry, transport and welfare. Today we will discuss about this. So let's get started. The land any mammals, okay, found in the Greenlands are musk, ox, reindeer, polar bear, and white Arctic wolf. Some domestic uh, domestic animals like sheep, goat, and pig are also raised by the Inuits. Marine animals like seals, walruses, and well inhabit Greenland. Different types of the whales like the blue whale. Fin whale, hum, uh, humpback whale, pilot whale, etc., constitute the marine life. Fish such as cod, rock fish are very useful for this economy. So you see, we can find different kind of animals in the Greenland, which is mentioned in there. Okay, the marine life means the water animals life. Okay, which include the different kind of species of fishes, which are mentioned in the book. Okay, which I have already read, and uh, the animals. There are some also the domesticated animals are there. Wild animals are also there. You see, in the wild animals, you can find the wild animals like musk, ox, reindeer, polar bear, and the white Arctic wolf, and some domesticated animals which you keep in their house. The way which the Greenland people keep in their house are sheep, goats, pigs are also raised by the Inuits. Okay, marine animals means you see the water animals which are like seals, then walruses and whales inhabit in the Greenland. They live in the Greenland. Okay, different types of the whales like the blue whale, fin whale, then humpback whale, pilot whale, etc. All this make the marine life. All this make the what water life. Fish such as cod. And rockfish are very useful for the economy, so they are very means means this kind of animals are very much useful for the economy. They are exported to other regions and are source of the revenue for the country. So now you see by selling this kind of animals, okay, they are catching the animals. The Greenlanders are catching the marine animals, water animals, and are selling to the other countries where it is not available. By this, they are also doing income. Okay, the Greenland shark is exploited for the oil present in its liver. You see, the Greenland shark. Okay, the shark which is present in the Greenland, they are killing this shark only for one reason. What is that? For the oil. Okay, they will kill and they will take the oil of the shark which is present in near the liver of the shark. Okay, uh, the cost of the shark oil is very high. Okay, the bird found in the Greenland include petrels, puffins, and gulls. Okay, there are different kinds of bird you can find in the Greenland, which are mentioned in their names are petrels, puffins, and gulls. Okay, so Arctic. Tern is a small bird that comes to the Greenland during summers and goes to the South Pole during winter. So Arctic tern uh, bird, okay, it lives in the Greenland for the small period of time, and that comes in the Greenland during the summer. Summer time it comes and it will fly away during the winter time to the Southern Pole to the another pole. Okay, now we will talk about the economy and the industry. If we talk about the economy and the industry, Greenland is the dependent on its fishing and the export industry. So the economy of the Greenland is totally dependent on the export, whatever the things they are selling to the other countries, and the industry. Okay, export industry, shrimp export, 
earns a large revenues reindeer polar bears seals walruses and whales are very important sources of meat you see there are lots of the animals okay also marine life means the shark and this all are caught and sold in the international market okay also there are some animals which are killed and their meat are sold into the international market with the higher demands okay greenland greenland also has hydroelectric power plant named buxford okay now you see greenland is producing their own electricity its name is buxford electricity hydropower electricity okay tourism has grown rapidly and has benefited the economy you see tourism department as we know that the tourism department with the help of when of the whenever the tourists come okay in india you see whenever i will speak about the india only first you are living in india you see whenever a tourist come in india what they bring they bring their money with them right and when they spend their money okay when they spend their money then you see uh, the hotel okay person the person who has hotel opened hotel they will get the money the roadside persons those who are means uh, taking the stalls and selling something they will also get money then the the drivers those who are riding the vehicle they will also get money okay so everybody is getting uh, advantage when the travelers are coming when the tourism uh, tourists are, are coming and what the government is getting in return the government is taking money from them okay for looking the country so that what the revenue is but they uh, the greenland the beauty of the greenland is so much that it is attracting the all over the world people to visit okay then by mining of ruby and other minerals like iron uranium platinum nickel copper is also being carried out in the large large scale so there also mining work is done means they are digging work you can say okay digging work with the help of digging after digging out they are take outing the minerals or metals like iron then uranium platinum and nickel and copper okay which is being digged out in the large or the huge quantity next you see it is written transport it is written next our topic is about transport transport if we say then roads are present only within the towns only in the towns you can find the roads okay not in the village or somewhere you will find the roads okay dog sl sledges and the snow mobiles are used on the ice covered area have you seen dog sledges have you seen dog sledges what is dog sledges you know dog sledges is like where dogs are tied okay and the dogs will pull you will sit in there okay they the dogs will pull two dogs will be there okay they they when they will run they will pull okay you have seen often in the movie in the hollywood movie movie maybe okay so dog sledges are used snowmobiles are used snowmobile uh, is uh, definition is written in the word power a vehicle that can move over snow and ice easily what is a snowmobile snowmobile is a type of vehicle okay that is a type of a vehicle that can move over the snow or the ice very easily okay then next you see is that shipping and the uh, air shipping and the air services are the main means and the transport in the greenland as i have told that the river okay the greenland's river is very important source of the economy why because there is no there is not possible to lay roads why because of the dense forest there are very dense forest are there so for this reason the people in the greenland use but the ships only the town area you can find the roads okay but mostly they are using the ship and the air transport in order to travel from one place to another okay greenland also has very sophisticated telecommunication network you can say that the greenlanders telecommunication network is a very means advanced one okay advanced telecom telecommunication network 
so it is the total different it is not not matching with us we are having what geo right geo airtel bsnl so they are using different kind of brand, brands that are very highly priced okay now next we will use uh, means uh, discuss about the welfare services means doing good for others welfare services will discuss about the doing good for others so the government of the greenland provides its citizens with a range of the welfare services like free health care and nine year of free and compulsory education for greenlandic children you see the government of the greenland is a very good okay which provide good facilities like free health care services whenever the people will get ill it will treat free of course without taking any money okay and nine years of compulsory education if a children is born in the means greenland it is compulsory to take education parents cannot say that no i will not give any education to my these children nine years of compulsory education is required to the child okay compulsory education is must now students we have already discussed the various topics of this chapter now i know is that or now we know you see in the page number 13 is that greenland lies in the northern hemisphere in is the largest island in the world its capital is nuuk the official language is kalali shoot okay the native the natives of the greenland or the person who are uh, in beliefs in the greenlands are called inuits they are fond of the kayak building and the sailing the main means of transport for the short distance are sledges and the snowmobile which are pulled by the you can say dogs also snowmobile is a type of a vehicle okay that can move over the snow or the ice easily okay then greenland has one of the largest ice sheet in the world you can find the largest ice sheet in the world greenland has mountain chains on the east and the west coast okay there are there is a wide variety of animals marine mammals and birds in the greenland lots of the birds and the marine life you can find in the greenland so this is all about today's explanation to the next the class i'll be giving out the print the blanks question answers maths of following to uh, choose the correct option and all till then that take care thank you bye bye everyone